right now. Wait, his name is Godzilla? Yup. You trying to tell me he's got God in his name? Well, we about to send him to church. Yo, that's what I've been saying. Let's roll up on him, boo. Yo, for real? Let's slide through, because that's not about to slide. You ready? Roll. I've been ready. Alright, let's go. Asha? Yo, where you go? Wow, you just gonna leave me like that? Uh-oh. <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the vintage board game, Godzilla. Uh, this is a Squishem game, and I'm a big fan. This game came out in 1998, and it is a super fast-paced-ish fun game. Great for the whole family. Let's talk about it. So you have this um, Godzilla foot that is kind of like a template for the Play-Doh that you're going to be utilizing. It is a Play-Doh game. Uh, this month I will be talking about quite a bit of um, some Play-Doh games here. Um, now you place the Play-Doh into those little grooves, um, close in on it with the claw, and then it creates your either plane, tank, uh, news car, I believe it is, um, race car. You have a few options and you do it in your own color. And the goal is to kind of rate, roll the die, um, draw cards, and race through to get your character or your playing piece to move through. Now if you get a Godzilla symbol on the dice, that's when you draw the card and it tells you where you take your little Godzilla figurine and smush uh, one of the vehicles or all of the vehicles on that color. So there are a few different colors um, alternating around the board. Let's say you choose red. In this instance, you take Godzilla and you smush every vehicle on red including your own. Now there are some that are kind of wild where you get to choose. So if you don't want to choose red because one of your cars are on it, you may choose yellow because other players are on it. Uh, maybe you'll get more than one, maybe you'll just get one. But basically your goal is to get two vehicles to the exit first. And this game is super fun and it's a lot more fun than you would imagine. In fact, the only piece that I'm not a big fan of, in fact I do recommend removing them, are the uh, city pieces. Those pieces are what kind of allow you to smush the buildings but they're made of kind of a cardboard piece so you're not physically going to smush them like play-doh so it makes absolutely no sense i'm actually working to get either make or find a great stencil for a city so i can make those out of play-doh so when you get those cards it's super satisfying where you get to smush an entire building i think that sounds a lot better than just removing a piece of cardboard whichever one you want because it doesn't really benefit you any nor does it make any kind of sense to the theme or at all to the game. It, no advantage is made from it but again I'm looking to get Play-Doh um, building pieces just to kind of build the excitement of smushing things because you smush a lot and when you smush something much like Splat that I reviewed a while back it stays on the board and whenever you do end up landing on that spot you skip over it. Now, the game itself, I am a big fan. I will say it is a very quick game. In fact, once you get in the flow of things, you guys are just going back and forth, back and forth, moving, moving, moving. And the game, again, doesn't overstay its welcome. I think the idea of Godzilla smushing things makes so much sense. The theme itself fits greatly. It's just the building part is the only thing that doesn't make much sense to me. The game itself very cheap. I paid maybe about $20, $15 actually I think for it, which is not bad at all. So if you can find this game, I highly recommend it if you can get a great deal. Um, there is another one I will be talking about next week. That is kind of its predecessor. I'm also excited about that game, but we won't get too far into that. But that is honestly all I have for you guys today. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, and with your guys' help, I have been doing so. Now, if you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game review. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.